fact that I have to deliver this speech at all is uh, the fault of my mother. -in -law. About 31 years ago, she said, Richard, I think you make a pretty good teacher. But there are others who must also be blamed. I would like to thank my learning director, Jennifer Carter, and for her wonderful letter of recommendation. And thanks to my principal, Ricky Ulrich, and our area superintendent, Robin Castillo, for their support and for helping to make Clovis a continue to be a great place to teach. And of course, my wife, Jan, who has spent way too many anniversaries uh, chaperoning my students at Science Olympiad competitions. <laughs> <laughs> so my journey began by doing exactly what my mother-in-law told me to do. I sat through my first ed class at Fresno State, and I was scared. A college professor reassured me. She said, there are people that will guide you. They will show you how to do it. It'll be all right. You'll do fine. And she was right. Uh, my master teachers were great. They did show me how to do it. And I was ready to teach. All I needed to do was find a job. And then it happened. Late August 1987, Dr. Cannon handed me a pen to sign my first contract and told me to stick it. <laughs> my first learning director, Carol Putnam, said to me, make kids like your science class so much that they'll want to take more science in high school. Days later, I stood in my eighth grade classroom. My first student, Brandy Carlson, walks in and up to me and says, my schedule says I have Mr. X. <laughs> Teacher X, excuse me. Is that you? Yes, hi, I'm Mr. Kenny. And that was weird. Mr. Kenny. <laughs> I've never been called that. And I loved those students. We had so much fun together that first year. I learned as much as they did. It was a great way to start a career. Often people would say to me over the years, middle school kids, they're awful. And my reply would be, they are awful, yes, I agree. <laughs> they're awful fun. They're, they're zany, they're goofy, they're adorable, they're frustrating, they're little bundles of, of hormone factors. And they taught me how to run a classroom. But after 24 years, I was ready for a change, a new adventure. An opportunity came to teach high school, and I went for it. And I love it. I get to teach chemistry. I mean, I like my wife and kids, but I love the periodic table. <laughs> <laughs> and now I get to share how amazing it is with, uh, with young adults. I am so grateful to the people that helped me get here. The teachers, colleagues, administrators, my wife, my family, and over 5,200 students who have spent five hours a week with me over the course of 29 years. And now I find myself speaking to you. I've got a few years left in the classroom, but I like to think that my teaching journey will go on um, long after I retire from this career or even from this world. My journey will continue for decades more in the lives and the memories of the kids who I've had the privilege to teach. It has sure been a great trip. Thank you.